welcome back in this lecture we will try to understand the unique capabilities of databricks platform we will try to understand what is databricks offering on top of apache spark as a platform so let's start databricks is a platform that brings technologies tools and capabilities to develop and implement lake house solutions using medallion architecture and other architecture patterns it brings everything that is required to design develop maintain operate enterprise grade lake house or data lake solutions here are some of the unique capabilities of the databricks platform we'll quickly go through it so databricks brings spark to the cloud spark was initially designed to be executed on hadoop platform but databricks makes spark independent from hadoop and brings it on the cloud platform as a cloud native technology that's what the databricks platform is all about databricks platform gives you easy approach for integrating cloud storage with apache spark or with databricks uh, runtime on databricks platform in a secure manner so it brings storage to your data lake acid compliance is one of the most desired feature of any data system uh, there is a project called open source project called delta lake Uh, which is designed to give these kind of capabilities to a variety of distributed data processing systems databricks integrates delta lake with apache spark combines them together and offers it as a pre integrated ready to use solution on the databricks platform the next is metadata management and user management is one of the essential features or requirement for an enterprise grade uh, data engineering solution so databricks brings both the features for metadata management and user management through unity catalog unity catalog is the solution of or offering of databricks platform to help you implement centralized metadata management and user management as well as security cluster management is one of the day to day activity for any distributed um, data processing requirement so databricks brings all those capabilities within the databricks platform itself and allow you to launch cluster auto scale it up auto scale it down release clusters all those things directly from within the databricks platform itself without directly going and working with your cloud Uh, solutions uh, databricks also created a uh, query accelerator they call it photon query engine uh, it's a transparent acceleration solution which you just switch it on and it starts giving boost to your uh, spark sql queries and data frame apis and things start running faster so photon query engine is Uh, a transparent query acceleration they offer notebooks and workspace which is kind of an id uh, that helps us to perform our day to day project activities like development testing integration with source control and all that uh, they also offer administrative control the point is that you can implement a robust security screen you can implement uh, user groups we can define policies and control access and activities based on the policies so all those administrative controls are also offered by databricks platform uh, one more thing databricks claims that they take vanilla apache spark implement some optimizations before they bring it into the databricks platform so in databricks platform apache spark is optimized apache spark so 
the point is that even same apache spark runs little faster in databricks platform because they have done some kind of optimizations and tuning databricks as a platform offers a variety of tools and techniques to automate your project activities they offer you rest apis uh, sdks uh, command line tools to automate lot of things and things can also integrate with terraform to automate a lot of things so that's about the databricks uh, platform and some high level features of the databricks platform we'll be learning most of these uh, capabilities in this course the next question comes with where is databricks platform available and which one to choose so databricks platform is available on all three major cloud platforms it is available on azure it is available on aws cloud and it is also available on google cloud platform the next question that you might ask is okay which one is best or which one should i choose so it's not about databricks is different on different cloud platforms databricks as a platform is the same on all three platforms the point is that it is same capability same solution available on a choice of cloud platforms it's up to us which one we want to choose there might be some differences behind the scene in how they implemented things on different cloud platforms but those are mostly transparent from the data engineering team or from the uh, project uh, people those are for databricks and the cloud platform so the point is databricks is the same on all three cloud platforms and decision for going for any particular cloud platform like azure or aws or gcp is based on other factors and those other factors are like which cloud platform your organization is already aligned with or partnered with or have a strong relationship which of cloud platforms offerings or products your organization is already using for a lot of other data engineering or data related uh, projects or activities preference will always go to that particular platform so if we are already aligned with uh, azure or if my organization is already aligned or partnered with aws most likely databricks is also used on the same platform but from the project perspective everything is same the databricks platform is same on all three platforms the integration part might be little different which is mostly infrastructure and setup and configuration things and that's all that's all for this lecture i hope you understand what are the unique features of databricks and it is available on all three platforms and we can choose any platform uh, for databricks it's almost the same on all the three platforms see you again keep learning keep growing